Hey guys, Jonathan here from TechMajesty.com. Today I'll be showing you how to unlock your Xfinity Mobile Samsung Galaxy S10. The phone was just released today and I'll be showing you how to unlock it step by step through this easy process. Now I'm going to show you this on the Samsung S10, but this method will work on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, S10e, and all other Xfinity Samsung phones as well. Our Xfinity Samsung Unlock will unlock any Xfinity Samsung phone regardless of any outstanding balances, financing, blacklist status, contracts, etc. What makes our Xfinity Samsung Unlock special is the ability for the phone to be used both domestically in the US and internationally with any GSM carrier. What that means is that once we unlock your Xfinity Samsung phone, you can use it with any GSM carrier in the US. For example, AT&T, T-Mobile, MetroPCS, Simple Mobile, Cricket, etc. can all be used on your Xfinity Samsung phone once we unlock it. Besides being able to use the phone in the US, you can also use your phone with any GSM carrier of your choice internationally as well. The unlock will not affect your warranty, it will increase the resale value of your phone and you will be able to use the phone with any GSM carrier of your choice. To unlock the phone, you will need a Windows computer and a USB cable. Now that we have all that ready, let's begin. The first thing we will need is the 15 digit IMEI number which you can get by going to the dialer of the phone and dialing star pound zero six pound. This will give you the 15 digit IMEI number. So now that we have the IMEI number of the phone, we will go on the computer and open the internet browser to go to techmajesty.com. Once we are on this website, we will go ahead and go to the Samsung unlock code section. Then we will choose the Samsung Galaxy S10 since that's the phone we're unlocking today. Then for the carrier option you will choose the carrier your phone is locked to AT&T, Sprint, Boost Mobile, T-Mobile, Xfinity Mobile etc. Then after that you will go ahead and enter the 15 digit IMEI number that we got in the beginning of the video. Then you have the option to choose these two optional services. This option right here will make your phone work on Verizon plus all other GSM carriers as well. If you only want to use the phone on GSM carriers after the unlock, then no need to choose this option. Then the second option is the bloat bear removal service, which will remove all carrier branding from your phone and make it into a stock Samsung phone. Again, both of these services are optional and are not needed for the unlock. Then you will click on the add to cart button and go through the checkout process to complete your order. Once you complete the checkout, you'll receive an email within one hour informing you that we are ready to begin the unlocking process for your phone. The email will look like this and say order and closed. The email will contain a download link to the USB redirector, which is basically a software our technicians will use to access your Samsung phone and complete the unlock. The email will also contain a link to our live chat where our technician will be with you during the entire unlock process. The whole process will only take about 5 to 10 minutes for our technicians to finish unlocking your phone. All you have to do is plug in your phone to the computer and we take care of the rest. Now I'll show you step by step how the process will work. So this is the USB redirector software I was talking about earlier. The first step will be where our technician will ask you to plug in your phone to the computer using the USB cable. Then step 2 and 3 will involve the technician working on your phone's unlock. Then the final and fourth step will be your phone being permanently factory unlocked. Now that the phone is unlocked, you can restore, upgrade or do anything else to the phone and the phone will remain unlocked. So now that the phone is unlocked, I'll insert my AT&T SIM card into the phone and show you guys that it's working. Here's the AT&T SIM card. And there you go. As you can see, AT&T is listed at the top left hand corner of the screen. So that means the unlock worked perfectly. 
So guys, it's as simple as that to unlock your Samsung phone and to start using it with any GSM carrier of your choice in the US or internationally. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe if this video helped you. Thank you so much for watching.